So let's talk about that after lunch siesta where you want to take a nap and why that is due to carbohydrates more than any other reason. Now, there are many countries that take a siesta. And by the way, siesta comes from the Spanish word meaning nap and the Latin word for sixth hour. And that refers to the countdown from dawn, meaning midday. So there are many countries known for these siestas. Mexico, certain countries in South America, Italy, Philippines, Vietnam, certain Mediterranean countries, Southern Europe, and Spain. And of course, in America, we don't really officially say that we have a siesta, but we basically fall asleep in front of our computer right after lunch. So the question is, is it normal for someone to get tired after eating? Now, there's actually a medical term for this, postprandial, which means after a meal, somnolence. And that means food coma. And of course, this is a common feature for diabetes. So when you have the combination of especially refined carbohydrates and volume of calories together, uh, it can really create a blood sugar spike and an insulin spike. Both of these are going to make you tired. Now, the question is, why would they make you tired? There's several mechanisms going on that go beyond the insulin resistance mechanism where you're having a lack of fuel go into the cell. All right, number one, you activate something called the parasympathetic nervous system. So there's two parts of the autonomic nervous system. You have the sympathetic, which is flight or fight, and the parasympathetic, which is rest and digest. So when you eat a lot of food, especially refined carbohydrates, you're going to activate this system over here and inhibit this system, and you're going to want to take a nap. So that would be the gut-brain connection. And with that, you're going to have less blood to the brain and more blood into the digestive system. So try to be awake when you don't have the amount of blood to the brain. It's a little more difficult. All right, three, decreases the arousal pathways in the hypothalamus in the brain, making you tired. And number four, and this is interesting, when you consume a high carb diet, you're going to absorb certain amino acids, but not others. Specifically, you're going to absorb valine, leucine, isoleucine, but not tryptophan. So tryptophan is going to be absorbed through the blood-brain barrier, and it's going to directly turn into serotonin and melatonin, the sleep hormone. So if you live in any one of these countries or in the U.S., I want you to try an experiment. Like in Mexico, you would have tortillas and corn-based type things, rice. Italy, you're going to have pasta. Philippines and Vietnam, you're going to have rice noodles. The Mediterranean, you're going to have more pasta and bread. Southern Europe, well, you might have potatoes or some other starch. And in Spain, you're going to have more carbs. So here's the challenge. Try not consuming carbohydrates at your lunch for one week. And you're going to find your energy is going to go straight up. The need for a nap is not going to be there. And for those of you that are new to my channel, check out this video on low carbs. It will tell you exactly what to eat.